Going to 141 here, big match as well. Kanan Store showing some momentum here. Back half the season going against Peter Lapari. 9 and 9, 500 on the year so far. Lapari, a redshirt junior, going up against the redshirt sophomore, Kanan Store. Kanan uh, spent a couple of years at Iowa State, now back in his home state of Michigan. Three time state champion in high school in Michigan at Leslie, Michigan, Leslie High School. Peter Lapari out of Byram Township, New Jersey, and Bergen Catholic again. He's earned the starting spot. Uh, Mike Van Brill had been in there. They'd been trading off, and Lapari just had a solid season, some good wins, and he's. Uh, had three out of four uh, wins in his last uh, uh, four matches and a big win against Lemix from uh, Purdue on the road. Yeah, both these guys are just coming on at the right time of the year. And been in the rooms for a while here. And, and uh, even though Lapari has that 500 record, like you mentioned, three out of the last four in this conference with that type of schedule that the Rutgers has been wrestling is pretty good. Yeah, and what I like is he had lost six in a row, and then he gets on this in the Big Ten, in the middle of the Big Ten season. So he's doing some things right. Kane Store, two-match winning streak after two losses in a row to McKenna and to Nick Lee. That's understandable, <laughs> you know, that this uh, – this entire Big Ten uh, season at 141 is a barn burner. Carr, McKenna, Lee, Store. What you see from Store, you see really quick feet. Okay, and, and that's you know, very difficult for even guys at the next level to get to his feet. He's had some success in some major freestyle uh, uh, tournaments, so you know he's guy who's been very solid on his feet. He's able to switch off right there. See how he went one direction, came back the other. Roll through. Got to anticipate that. Lapari has an opportunity to go ahead and get his head up and get in a scoring position. Wow. <laughs> and right just like that, Storm basically comes back to an ankle pass situation. Lapari keeping his head up. You can make a count there in the danger call right there with certainly beyond 90 degrees. So now you got to watch for a yeah, that was a good job. Good job of stopping that there. Consistent yeah. calls by Tim Ravello for the safety of the athletes, making the calls when the safety is in uh, question there. So, well, you go back and look at that position and look how it contorted that knee was of store in that situation. And nobody wants to lose, uh, you know, an outside ligament on your knee at any time during the course of the season, particularly when there's not much time to recover like you are mid-February right here. So good job of stopping that. It wasn't worth whatever anybody was going to score out of it. Yeah, you talk about a nice addition to the Wolverines team uh, to bring a home boy home to Michigan to have Keenan Store coming in this lineup at this weight. Big for the Wolverines. Yeah, you know, that's, that's why it's really important not to burn any bridges when you're recruiting you know it, it sometimes guys make emotional decisions and and uh, when you recruit people the right way things don't work out for them you get an opportunity to kind of revisit the thought later on it's got an opportunity to come home things weren't working for store at, at Iowa State and he decided to go ahead and move on and uh, good for him he's got an opportunity to restart here you learned some things from where you were and but again a lot of it's just when you're building a program you know you want to be representing yourself in such a way that, you know, guys consider coming to your place maybe the second time around. It's a great point, Jim, and it happens more than people think. And it's like you said, don't burn bridges. That's yeah. a big advice for anyone, anywhere in life. Well, it's, it's going to happen more and more the way the rules are set up. You're going to see a little bit more, uh, I think, free agency in a good way uh, uh, for these athletes. And, and uh, you know, it, it as it's happened in the past, I mean, guys would lose a couple of years when they transferred in, in between conference schools, you know, and, and uh, unless you got releases or whatever. So it's going to be, I like what the NCAA, it, not, I don't like everything, but I like th what they're doing on that front. No score in that first period, a lot of scrambling, a lot of action, but now we go to the second period. Lapari's got the opportunity to maybe score from underneath, get an escape or a reversal, but. Uh, you see why the, the Rutgers staff likes him here. He is keeps a high pace. He's a guy that the crowd can get behind. And, you know, you're, you're battling for a spot there like he was against Van Brill. And sometimes you go out there with that a little bit more, more pressure than what you need. And now that you are the guy, you, know, you say a little bit more uh, freewheeling out there. We'll see if that, that helps him. 
a store you see by that seven ranking he's a guy that can go deep into that NCAA tournament. Yeah he has not had a bad loss his only loss is all year Ironman Carr McKenna and Lee all top five and so he is not I mean he is a legitimate seven top eight are all Americans he's going to be in the fight in the Big Tens and the uh, NCAAs. That was a great um, meet. Speaking of uh, Ironman, a great meet uh, with uh, Oklahoma State ending um, Missouri's uh, winning streak. Uh, both programs, top programs in, the, in America as well. Good job of following on the, that switch there by, by Storr. Yeah, just doing just doing enough there with his footwork, and you can see the quick feet. It, it has a lot of times you don't see it on the on the uh, you know when they're on their feet. I think we did in this example here with with watching store, but you see that when he's riding right there, he's dropping back in, and particularly when Lapari hit that good solid switch, you know the footwork of Stork kept him in the game. Gets another 106 of riding time, so. So Lampari escapes, but Storr gets the job done that he wanted to get done, and he's got riding time advantage. Working hard with the snap. Fingers tied up right there. Both wrestlers haven't broke free from it there. Left hand to Storr, right hand to Lampari there, broke, broke free there. Jim, we're talking about Rutgers, their crowd. How about these crowds in the college wrestling? I mean, 5,000 average for Rutgers. We had 5,000 in Missouri and Columbia yesterday for Oklahoma State and Columbia. And then you have 16,000 in Bryce Jordan Arena uh, at a, a, a recent um, uh, Penn State meet and sold out rec uh, hall and uh, Ohio State's record crowd. Just great things going on. Well, you can, you can be a fan of this because you're, you're going to get an opportunity to be entertained numerous times. I mean, uh, I, somebody gave me a camp T-shirt about, you know, back in 1982, and, I, and it had the back of our schedule. We had 13 home meets. You have 13 home meets. You not only get to know the starter, you can go with the, the guy in the, in the back. You know, these guys don't have that. But what's taken the place of it has been media, and uh, uh, you know, having this on digital media as well as on the linear uh, media with uh, Big Ten Network and ESPN. You can get to follow these guys, and get to know them like you've, like you've. Uh, you know, we know this because we go to the nationals every year. I mean, the people that follow this from all over the country has just been amazing, and so. You can stay with your team through uh, in a lot of different venues with Flow and, and uh, you know, you turn on a lot of different apps right now. You can go ahead and watch a lot of great duels. There's coming up right now. What's coming up later? We've got a lot of great matches with highly ranked Michigan wrestlers, especially at those uh, uh, back weights there in the second half. Right now, here in the third match of the meet, it's 7-0 Michigan leads, and right now it's 1-1 Storr and Lapari. A minute left in regulation. There's oh, a shot by Storr. Beautiful angle on that finish. Can he stay up on it on that ankle? Get to the far ankle? No, I guess he did for a second there. No control. Good shin wizard being applied there. Lapari gets to the far leg. Not much real estate there. If he goes off the mat, even with his right toe or his knee right there, they have to call it out. Take a look at the shot. Look at the core angle he gets right there. He swings that left foot around, all right, shoelace flat, all right, be able to go ahead and, and make, you know, cut the corner real well. He's able to follow, but got to do that in the middle. Good shot but by Lapari staying in this match, Tim. Good effort. No, like you mentioned in a match earlier, nobody's getting tired. Both wrestlers stepping forward. Lapari, but this type of action, the center of the mat. Yeah, this type of action, ear to ear, I think actually favors Lapari. So, Store now senses that, trying to get from a little bit better distance. Good job of keeping his hands down, Lapari. Short time left. We're headed to overtime. Who would have thought? We're going to overtime. Lapari unranked going up against the number seven ranked Kane and Storr. Yeah. 
<laughs> he thought he had riding time. Yeah, he did. I rode him for Whoa. 106, but it was that but Lapardi was able to get a few seconds off right there. I think it was 53 seconds. And so here we go to overtime at the surprise of Kanan Store, and we'll see if the, that uh, whether he can gather himself. There's the finger call that we were talking about earlier. Sudden victory, one minute on the clock. Any score will win here. A takedown, there's no uh, stall calls, so. Well, if Shore can get in there. With that dump right there, now it comes across, and did he have it? It was close, might see a brick there thrown in. Oh, that brick has got to be coming out. That was close there. That was almost like that Merkel position where he had the inside leg laced. Dropped right through, nope. Went out and back in. There's Nate Chapman, the side official there. Good shot of that call. I, I wonder if, yeah, they can't call it now. They no, have to go. too late. Great action by both wrestlers. We're in sudden victory at 141 pounds after a 1-1 regulation. Storr and Lapari. Rutgers trying to get on, on the board here for the first time today. You see the quickness of the store on the feet, but Lapari's doing a pretty good job of just, you know, staying right in there, staying with the ties. We're going to go to two tiebreaker periods of 30 seconds each. Two 30-second matches here. We'll see if uh, anybody can separate themselves in these two 30 seconds. Scott Goodale, the head coach in his 12th year at Rutgers. No. He's got caution, so he's got to be, you know, there's really no reason to start early. Coach Goodale really telling him, don't jump the gun here. Gonna get the clock. There we go. Back to 30 seconds. You know what I like? What's happening right now is that the side judge is basically doing that, and then you know the referee is right there in the center of the mat. So if there's any monkey business between the two guys, he's right there to see it. All right, he's not losing track of the two guys that are in the center of the of the mat. Good work by the officials. In the first tiebreaker. Period here of 30 seconds. Lapari trying to ride him out. And Storr gets away at about the 15 second mark in the first tie break period. Storr goes out in front, two to one. And Lapari will give his opportunity underneath now to tie it up or go ahead and try to win it here in the third tiebreaker period. Lapari's been able to get out, but he, it took him a little bit more calories to get out than it did for Storr. So, see how Storr decides to play this. Comes in with a spiral ride. There's a roll through. Good job of getting his hips back on top to Storr. It's kind of off to the side, and now, now uh, Lapari basically has that leg, but can he clear off and get a reversal? And that looks like back points. Yep, and it's the back points, and he's gonna ride him out right there. 10 seconds left. Four points on the near fall, and that's going to do it. Kanan score, going to score, and win six to one in overtime in the third tiebreak period. Showed a lot of poise there, Tim. Yes, he did throughout that entire action. Three points on the board for Michigan. They go to double digits, and Store scores big here, Jim. Yeah, the roll through attempt right there. Does a great job of popping his hips back on top, getting his hips back in the saddle there, follows it up, collects a wrist somewhere down here, down below here. Yeah, collects that wrist on the far side and able to switch up to a bear hug. But each sequence there, he ended up with his hips on the top.